Okay, I'm going to extrude with the new PCX extruder. I have removed the plunger, which is completely removable with a quick release pin. I have installed a hollow die. This is actually an F series hollow die that I'm going to use. I'm going to add some clay to the barrel. Now, this is a pretty big extrusion, so it's probably not going to take that much to begin with. I've got a octagon in there, about three and a half inch octagon. In order to make it easier to extrude, you can slide closer to the center point. The closer you go, each step closer, there's six steps, each step closer you go makes it easier. And that's pretty much it. You can use your cut wire and cut through the extrusion and you're good to go. I have a extruded piece here from our F-Series Octagon and I just want to cut the end of that off straight. I find that it's easy to use a piece of foam. You may have to support the outside of it depending on how hard your clay is, but with the foam you can push down past the bottom and easily get a straight cut. Just like so. Cut off the other side of that. When you're doing any extrusions with the hollow dies, if you take the hollow die, you can use the die itself as a template for a bottom piece. So cut a slab that size and it should be perfect for your piece to sit down on if you want to put a bottom on the extrusion. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the octagon die. I still have about a half barrel of clay in the extruder. Everything kind of stuck together with the clay, but be careful you don't drop all the parts. You can remove it as a single piece or you can remove the whole thing at once. Uh, the outer die comes right off. Die ring off of it. And... little bit of cleanup. There's about an extra pound of clay here at the base with the F-Series die ring installed. It adds a little bit more capacity to the barrel. And get most of the big pieces of clay off of it. Uh, we can remove the center support and just wash the hardware up.